This is gonna be an exciting year here for the Vancouver Canucks. So much young talent they be breaking into the NHL. A bunch more have been growing. We're gonna see some nice jumps. We're gonna probably sign some big names here in free agency. It's gonna be pretty hype. So guys, you know what to do right now. Go ahead, hit that like button for the hype, for the algorithm, for the Vancouver Canucks in this upcoming season, which should be absolutely baller before we get too much further. We do have a winner to read off from this last season's point scoring contest, and it is a clean sweep. I didn't think it was going to happen, but we have ourselves a clean sweep here, and it is Dylan Dobson who guessed the team lead was Elias Pettersson, the league lead. I'm guessing that's supposed to be Hughes. Hughes. I don't, I don't know of a Hudges, but anyway, league lead Hughes, and then uh, goaltender Omar, because if you do remember, uh, Hughes had the most points uh, amongst defensemen for the league was tied with 70, tied with someone else. And then, of course, Pedersen led the team in uh, in points as well. So, congrats to you there, Dylan. And Linus Olmark, great guess. So, congrats to you and best of luck to everyone in this coming season here. I've gone ahead and I've got a bunch more scouts and a, a coach as well. And interestingly, man, I still haven't got my full A team of scouts. I'm, like, going to have, like, three Bs. It's weird. This is, like, the slowest... Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Not like it really, really matters. We always seem to find good stuff anyway. But, uh, alright, I don't think we could have done any really contracts. Yeah, we got Patterson locked in. Strom is... We don't know what, We don't know about that yet. Like, we could keep Strom, but it's like... Oops. Not that long. And Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, DPHO, we're likely going to be trading DPHO. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do that right off the bat here before I really forget. Hopefully, we can get a decent pick from or something. Because, yeah. Oh, man. Not as good of a pick as I thought we could get. 83 goaltender. Okay. Well, then. Uh, the Ducks want him. Let's trade them elsewhere. There you go. They could use a... Uh, give me a three. That should work. We might be able to get a little something extra. Because they really they do want DPHO. No, maybe just a three. There we go. We got a three. That's, that's okay. Not the greatest, but it is what it is. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Perfect nine picks. <laughs> Hey, look at that. Three in the third round as well. A couple seconds. Okay. So that's what we got now. And let's go and sign some guys in free agency here. And I think we're going to pursue the two names that I was thinking of here. In Stamkos. I'm actually going to check the comments real quick to see if there are any like major objections or something. But, uh, I don't know if there would be. Yeah. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I think I think this is... Yeah, I don't care if Stamkos wants one year. We're going to give him two. It goes down a little bit too. So we're going to give him 10 mil for two years. He shouldn't decline super hard. He might, like, immediately drop potential when we get him, but again, we have plenty of cash. The two-year deal makes this uh, makes this amount of money pretty much, it doesn't matter. Uh, Everly, we're going to give him, like, eight and a half for two years. Actually, no, we're going to give him eight, only eight for two years. He's got top six. He could, he could fall off pretty hard. We'll give Everly that. Okay. So there, there we go. We'll get Stamkos, we'll get Everly, let him chase a cup for a couple years here. While we integrate a bunch of new younger guys in the lineup, that'll definitely put us uh, well above the cap floor. We will now need a new AHL backup. Low elite, 60 at 20, not great. But... There's really nothing else that's really good here. C-Lobs is at like 70-something. 
low start now. I'd I don't know. I'll just take a weird chance on this guy. Maybe he like jumps out and is crazy. I doubt he will be, but I, I don't care. And we're not going to need a crazy good backup. So let's just see how that guy does, I guess. Nothing else was really great in that scenario. So, okay. I don't think we need... I'm going to double check, see if we need any depth or anything. But I don't think we do. I think we just get those two major names and everything else falls into place. For, especially for forwards. We'll be fine for forwards. We're going to have defense. Um, we might. I don't think so, though. There's your top four. Salo. No, yeah, we're good on defense. Rathbone is depth. Perfect. Good on defense. We'll be good on goaltenders after uh, that guy signs. Like, yeah, we could have gotten, like, a medium starter, like that 73 guy who was 23, but... I don't know. I might, might as well take a chance on a low elite, and maybe he, like, really, really increases value. Who knows? But he also has a lot of value for free. Okay, um, I will check forwards, just, just for fun of it. So we're going to have one, two, three. Let's count in the two guys we're going to sign. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, not quite not also not quite who knows 12 yeah we'll have enough with like some of these guys maybe i should sign one because bailey can play maybe i should sign like one more depth piece yeah just one more depth forward just for fun just because i was getting a little tight in there maybe a two-way type Iran. Oh, hell yeah. Although, he is 36. Yeah, let's go for Barry Bo This guy, whatever. Ah, he's playmaker, which isn't as great. Oh, he's got shit face off. Screw that. How about Dickinson? Not bad. Tyler Johnson's pretty solid. 33. He wants money, but I don't really care. Yeah, we do that. That'll be fine. One year, two mil, fine. Probably doesn't have to be that much, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, that and that'll that'll be just fine if we lock all that in. All right. So there we go. That'll be our free agency here. Let's advance. Get a bunch of these scouts locked in. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. Scout, got the coach, or getting the coach. Uh, no. Look at it. All the guys on the blocks were pretty much guys I didn't care about, so that's at least good. At least I think. I didn't really look. <laughs> I saw, like, overalls out of the corner of my eye, and none of them looked. And I saw pictures, too. It's like, none of them looked that crazy. Alrighty. It's a lot of scouts. I think I hired, like, 11. There's your B. Okay, we got the coach. Now we're just waiting on the players. We got Phil Stokes, the goaltender. So there we are. He's locked in. We got Tyler Johnson. Uh, Kai Gordov accepted the extension. Solid. Uh, Stamkos and Everly joined the team. And is that... Do I have another extension? I guess it was just Kai Gordov, huh? Really? Why did I think I was signing someone else? Maybe it wasn't... Yeah, there's the Strom, maybe, but... At this point, not going to sign him to that. Demko, we're going to have to extend Demko this next year, too. Yeah, those two-year deals make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> Even more with that. Okay, so there we go. That's going to be our free agency here. And, uh... Yeah, we pretty much have everything that we need. So I'm going to sim up. I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so I'm trying something I wasn't too sure I was going to try. But based on uh, some of the chemistries, I'm going with it. And mostly it's the fourth line. <laughs> well, I'll get to that in a second. But we're going with Pedersen, Stamkos, Eberly, Plus five on the first line. Then Clefbaum, Marlowe, and Gaucher, who's up to an 88. An 88, Nathan Gaucher. Uh, then Hoaglander, Horvat, Pudkoles in third line. Stacked top nine. Like, this is an unreal top nine. And our fourth line is going to be the Rooks. <laughs> an entire fourth line of rookies. Cam Arnott, Vincerino Tabernacolo, and Nilo Kol Kosolov. <laughs> 
don't know how it's gonna go. They're all listed as depth, too. So, we'll see. I usually don't do this, but we'll see. Uh, defensively, we're going with Hughes Kai Gorodov because him and Benoit get a minus. I don't like, I don't want any minuses. They could be at zeros, whatever. Then Dermot, Benoit, Salo, Juleson. So we're pretty much kind of hoping Benoit is likely to jump up. We need a new coach for the, the strategies, essentially. Like, the offensive strategies are fine, but the defensive are absolutely trash. Because Quinn Hughes is what? Pinch shoot. Benoit is going to be pinch cycle. Uh, yeah, so... As long as it's, if we can find pinch balance, it'd be fine. But pinched whatever, like it'll be, it won't be this, right? Because good gracious, because the top line is hold line shoot, which is complete opposite for Benoit. Shoots at least okay for Hughes, as you see. But yeah, anyway, um, doesn't have to be like pl like plus five, like plus one or plus two would be fine. Just I don't want a negative anywhere. So that's our defensive core, pretty solid, honestly. That's a solid defensive core. And we'll look at our power play now. Stamkos, Marlowe, Pedersen, Clefbaum, Hughes, top unit. Absolutely insane. Um, second unit, it's going with the rookies with Horvat essentially. So Tabernacolo, Horvat, Arnett, Kosolov, Everly. I'm testing it. I don't know. I'm just going for it. We, all of our guys have grown really, really well so far. Um, Besides, you know, Tabernacolo has been a bit slower going. I'm just going to throw him on in the NHL. We have all great teaching now for everyone, so... Why the hell not? That's kind of my uh, my thoughts on it right now. And it's plus five and plus three. Here's a quick look at the four man. Didn't really touch this. Whatever, whatever it is. Uh, penalty kill. Horvat Hoaglander. Got to get Hoaglander in there because he's got no power play time. Gaucher doesn't have power play time either, but whatever. Uh, then Benoit Hughes, and then Pedersen put Coles in. Kai Gorodov Dermot. Plus two for each. Here's a quick look at three man. Uh, Horvat Pedersen. And then same defensive pairings. And on to the four on four. We're going Stamkos Pedersen, Hughes Benoit, Marlo Clefbaum, Dermot Kai Gordov, and then Horvat Eberly. So there we are. So the defensive pairings were the same as five on five. Same thing here. Um, same forward uh, groupings. And then Hughes, Dermot, and Kai Gordov. Neither we don't have any great other offensive driven uh <laughs> two way guys, so it'll be Dermot and Kai Gordov. It is what it is. Extra attacker. Petter it can't really be Pedersen Stamkos because they're on the same uh, line. I'll throw. Should honestly be Hughes. Yeah, and then they'll it'll be next. It'll be next best person up essentially if one of those if they're already if they're both on the ice. So whatever. I think that's how it works. We're gonna. I always leave the shootout as it is, and then of course Thatcher Demko and Kevin Lankinen. Uh, we need to trade Strom. <laughs> That's another thing I gotta mention. He's just he just got it completely pushed out, completely pushed out. Yeah, I wasn't gonna play him fourth line. I know that it doesn't make any sense. So yeah, he got completely pushed out. We're going with the rookie fourth line, and Strom's gonna go. And yeah, so let's see if anyone wants Strom. We can obviously get rid of him. Ducks want him. Caps want him, and they have cap space. Ha <laughs> ha! We could get a first. I can't... Oh, we could absolutely get a first. What are they looking at? Hold on. I want to see their team. Maybe we can get, like, lucky with a... Not that we need any, like, to get lucky with any great uh, picks or anything like that. Honestly, the caps are probably the best bet here. Yeah. We wouldn't even have to retain, which I think we are maxed out on retentions. So I'll try to get there first, honestly. Or I could I could get there first from next year and like hope that they're a bad team. Since we're already maxed out on picks for this year, maybe we could do something like that. Let's we'll see if that goes through straight up. It does. I probably could have gotten more, but I really don't care. <laughs> I just don't. Just don't care. So we'll give them a... Oh, they got Kopitar Tate. What the fuck? Hold on. They're stacked. Which means they should run into issues, right? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, their deals aren't too bad, though. Interesting. I don't know. We'll see. They might They might be great. They might suck next year. I don't know. <laughs> you never know what will happen with the AI. We just grabbed the pick for Strom. I really don't care. Definitely could have gotten more, but whatever. We're maxed out on picks for this year. Now we have two firsts for next year. 
It's saying that pick might be good. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But we are absolutely stacked here now. And since we got the reset, can I offer any extensions? I don't think so. Yeah, it's just Strom. Nope, that's it. Uh, well, Rathbone, but no one cares about him. I think we got to wait till uh, around the deadline when we could uh, attempt to extend Pedersen. Well, this is going to be interesting. I ever, I've already assigned my uh, my scouts. We got full coaching staff. A couple Bs. So we have no defensive coaches. Forward and two generalists, but who cares? That goalie coach is actually getting pretty good. He keeps getting better. Not bad. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. I'd say we're good to go here. <laughs> I'm curious to see how this team does. We could absolutely suck. We have a lot of young guys entering the lineup sometimes, and new free agents. We could absolutely suck, and I would laugh. But I wouldn't put it past the game to have us do that. We'll see. Let's get by that first little month and a half section. Do I have to clear my block again? Yes, I do. Seelovs is up to 79. I should check my HL again. Just Well, I, I don't have... Yeah, they should be in there. I don't have any major prospects down there anymore. It's just that elite goaltender. But he's the only other goaltender, so he should be playing. Alrighty. Minor injury to Robin Salo. Let's see how we do here when the regular season comes around. But a good end of the preseason or preseason there. Uh, Robin Salo's really injured now. So Rathbone gets to hop in for a bit. Minus three, lol. <laughs> Dylan Benoit's been injured. Cool. Good stuff, guys. Is he... Yeah, okay, Robin Salo's at least back, so I'm going to throw him in there. Hopefully he doesn't get re-injured. Dylan Benoit being injured sucks, but it is what it is. So Rathbone can stop in here now. There we go. Please don't get re-injured. Oh, thank goodness. Fully healed Robin Salo. 5-1 and one start. Pretty good start so far. Can't really complain. Missing a key player right now in Dylan Benoit, but he's back. So there we are. Yeah, Clefbaum listed as first liner. Oof, he only got six points so far in 12 games. Anyway, Benoit back in. Let's hope we can start turning things around here now. Well, not, I mean, it's not like we're doing bad, but if that second line, really. I want, I want good scoring pretty much everywhere. We'll see what happens. We'll get a good look at it at the preliminaries here. We're winning games, man, so it's like, why even complain? We're 15-3-2. Start off real, real strong here. Pedersen got 21 points in 20 games play. We're first in the division with a three-point lead. First in the NHL over the Lightning by one point. So, they're not missing Stamkos. Thanks. Let's see how we're doing so far. 3-3-5, Yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Power play's awful, though. Wow, power play's really bad. Okay, that's got to get better. Penalty kill's not horrible. I'm going to see if the power play improves on its own. If it doesn't, we'll have to make a change. But it shouldn't be bad, dude. Like, it's fucking stacked. At least the first unit is. 21 points. Pedersen, 20 for Stamkos. 18 for Marlowe. 15 for Eberle. 14 for Gaucher. 10 goals. Horvat, Hoaglander, Oof, Clefbaum. But Colson, Tabernacolo. Yeah. Those guys in the fourth line, they're all minuses. They're getting some points on the power play, though. But they're pretty severely minus. <laughs> Tabernacolo. What the hell? Oh, yeah, it's a sniper and like a two snipers and a power forward. Yeah, maybe a bit of an issue. <laughs> so, like, Tabernacolo's had, having to feed the puck to these greedy bastards. Whatever. It's an experiment. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll, we'll see how they grow, if they grow. Quinn Hughes has got 13 points in 20 games played. Thatcher Dump going. Lincoln and are killing it. So, yeah, our goaltending, yeah, is good. And we're scoring, so. Hmm. I mean, the overall scoring for the team is not bad. So, really, I'm avoiding the hit and the panic button. Clefbaum needs to score more. Yeah, he's really, really lacking. He's only got one point on the power play, and it's... Maybe I should actually mess with it a little bit. 
He's on the point, too, which is maybe not where I want him. I could put Stamkos on the point. Switch hand, Hughes. Keep Clef Bomb on the one time. Could try this. It's a small change. Tabernacolo's up. <laughs> they already crew. Well, at least Tabernacolo did. Maybe Arnett and uh, Kosolov are uh, morale up. There's a lot of snipers on the second unit, to be fair, but whatever. All right, I'm just going to try, try. It's a small change, but we'll see. Very, very small change. Okay, um, essentially it would be great to get Everly some stack growth, too. Because we could trade his ass immediately if we got another sniper growing, you know? So that's why that's another part of the reason I'm having him on that uh, top line. Clef Bomb needs to score more, but he's also playing a role below, even though he's got top power play. Hopefully playing on the wing now, the power play will help to boost him up. Get him going. Uh, good start so far. I'm going to keep checking here just because I'm not sure when the CBA thing kicks in. I think it's like February or something stupid. Maybe it's December, though. It might actually like the, the turnaround. No, we're on December. Derp. Wait, did I go longer than I usually do? No, I didn't. I'm just slow. Okay, so let's go up another month and then we'll check the growth. And we'll get to do some scouting here in a little bit. Stars have fired their coach. That's not good for our members there. And here we go, some scouting. Rathji. It's a name I haven't heard in a bit. Uh, we're not going to probably bother scouting the top. We'll just let that do its thing. We'll just target scout here. And try to find the steals, because that's what we're after now. All about those steals. I'm excited about this season, though. It's starting starting off pretty good. It looks like we're getting some growth, too. I'm about that life. This is... I don't know why I'm scouting him. He's so far back as a medium, but whatever. On we go. On we go. But so far, those two ticks, there's a few in the 40s, which is maybe a bit early. But you never know. If this is a weaker draft class, one or one of those could be immediately. We've seen them as low as like 50, so. I'll skip some of those guys. That's a lot of one ticks. All right. Oh, here we go. This guy is definitely, definitely going to be low elite. Maybe even this guy, but that's a huge gap between those two numbers wise. We'll see. It is actually looking like a very weak year. Well, not very, very weak, but, like, that's your first low elite. These guys might be low sixes, which would, in turn, make me think that this is going to be a bit of a thinner year on the drafting, which makes sense. We just had three years in a row with, uh, you know, members in the draft, so that makes it strong. Now the game's got to balance itself out, or it's been attempting to balance itself out, essentially. But still scouting all these dudes. It's a lot of them. We'll get an idea. We'll get an idea of what's kind of... The story of this draft and where good players are going to be appearing. That's a shit ton of lows, man. That's a lot. This guy, man, a low at 30. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely looking like a thinner year. I mean, you see a low right there at 30-something and another one at 30-something, so. Yep. I mean, they're not in the first round, which we have seen, so it. Not as thin as it could be, but definitely going to be thin. These ones here, 79, 80 mediums here. If it's going to be thin like I think it is, this could be a good spot. Maybe even as high as like the 40s, 50s like we saw earlier. I think the 40s are a stretch, but though these right here definitely, definitely have a chance to be something. Still going to scout all the lows, of course. I'm going to get this guy anyway, because 100 is still a good location for mediums. Begris. Noel Gregoire. <laughs> wow, we have a lot to look at. It's given me quite a lot to look at here. That's a good initial scouting. It's been a while since we've had it that good. Pretty late on this guy, but doing it anyway. I like our, our scout. Oh, hello. Yeah, maybe. Maybe 80s, 90s. 
Although he's, you know, I need I need my first confirmation, or at least like first two confirmations. Like I need one low elite confirmation and a medium elite confirmation. That'd be huge. That would really give me an idea what's happening. But good luck on that. Could also be if you get that. Those are the only two that appear. <laughs> But we pretty much have confirmation on those two low elites, so really I'm just waiting for my first medium elite confirmation to be like, what's going on here in this draft? What's going on, huh? So much to look at. Look at this, man. This is great. Okay. Another one around those 80 marks. Yeah. Super late, but could be a four. I'm just going to get both of them. Why not? I'm going to click in Frenzy right now. This was a very, very productive uh, scouting time, man. It's been a while since we've had, uh, had this much info to go off of. Usually it's a bit more sparse, but damn. Oh, that's an early goaltender. And no one ticks there, no one, one one tick here, and he's already being scouted, so there we go. It's a lot of scouting done. We continue our good record here with more wins above divisional opponents, massive. Wow, and we are just, okay, we finally lose to Buffalo. It's probably pretty stacked. A couple losses there in OT, or shootout. Not the greatest <laughs> end of the month, but then we blow the fuck out of it. <laughs> Dallas sucks. 10-22-2. What are you guys doing? You get blown out by us. Our members are better than yours. Get fucked. 25, 5, and 4. Stamkos, 4 points above. We have 11-point lead in the division. And a 3-point lead over the Rangers for the lead of the NHL. Wow. Okay, I'm going to check the stats again because it's fun as hell. We are crushing it. 3, 7, 6, 2, 1, 8. This is probably the best uh, ratio I've had in quite a long time. Power play starting to go up, so I'll leave it. Penalty kills up there. Four shorties, four. Looking so good, man. So, so good. Stamkos, what a select, what a pickup that was in free agency. 38 points. Pedersen, 38 points. Everly, 33. Marlowe, 26. Horvat, 23. Gaucher. Hoaglander, 21. Clefbaum, 20. Still not really going, but that's okay. But Colson with 19, Kosolov, Tabanakalo, all Arnett. Think about how much spread scoring we have, too. So you might see less points here and there for certain guys. Give it up to Gauthier. He's got no power play time. He has 20, 21 points in 34 games. He's killing it. Hughes with 23 points. He and Kai Gordov are crushing it, pairing-wise. Durham, everyone is really, everyone's a pretty hefty plus. Kai Gordov's got some points. Dermot as well. And uh, Lankinen hasn't lost in regulation. <laughs> He's got 12 points in 7 games. No, sorry, 13 points in 7 games played. Fucking hell. Amazing. And Thatcher Demko's killing it. So, yep. Look at all the rookies we have. One, we have a, we have two lines of rookies, essentially. But, I mean, five, of them, five forward rookies, one defensive rookie. And we're doing this. Oh, the times, they are a change in here in Vancouver for the better. For the better. All right. Again, before we check uh, anything else, I want to see if I can offer PD his extension. <laughs> Fuck! Why? Why? What is happening? Why, dude? What is your fucking problem? Fuck! <laughs> what is Pedersen's problem, man? Fuck this guy. Holy shit. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. All right. All right. Let's check some growth. Let's get some good news. Pedersen's being a little bitch. That's bad news. Kosolov is growing. That's good news. He's growing. Yeah, he'll be. All right. Good. Like to see that. Tabernacolo's growing. Like to see that. Oh, yeah. This is. It's working out. Uh, Arnett is growing a little bit. So they're all growing. That's really, really fucking good news for us. Because this was kind of a risk playing him up here. But alright. Okay, here we are in the system now. Stokes has grown. Do we even have any? 
yeah, not really. <laughs> Everyone's, all of our major prospects are up. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, we don't really have anyone. Stokes has grown a little bit. It's the goaltender we just got. Uh, Rudy Johnston has grown a little bit. That's the literally our, like, that's our two best prospects in the system. <laughs> yeah, we really kind of, we, we essentially kind of had to do what we did. Like, we traded some guys that would take longer to get the ETA guys, and I would say it, it worked. We're right in Demko's window. This is his prime. We want to win cups. We have all our major guys now on the lineup. They're young still, yes, but... We're looking good. When do I extend some of these guys, by the way? I'm looking at all these entry levels. Gaucher, Clefbaum next season. Uh, Marlowe, Benoit after that. Yeah, Hughes at the same time as a couple of those major ones. Hoaglander at the same time as Hughes. Okay, Gordov's already locked in. Okay. We're in good shape for most of this. We, that's why we timed up uh, the free agents the way we did on the two-year deals, because that was basically when those uh, the entry levels would be up and they'd kick into their whatever longer-term deals we start giving them. And we have the extra years as well. Anyway, we're looking great. We're looking freaking golden, I would say, and we're growing, which is amazing. We're going to just breeze through all the way to the trade deadline now. And hope like hell we continue this pace. Because we've been crushing it, man. We got a 10-point lead on the division. Let's just keep it going. Dermot injured, so Rathbone gets to hop in. Minus, maybe? Uh-oh. Seeing some losses here. <laughs> Let's get back on the right side of things. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, continuing on here. A couple more wins. Beat Buffalo there. Get fucked. All, like, six of you members who were there. <laughs> like, four, I think, but... Uh, a lot. And again, we have half... I love that we have, like, members on half of the NHL teams. That's tremendous. Oh, man. Crushing it. Ben was injured again. That's not great. He's gotten injured a couple times now. Would like. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I'd like to see some growth for him and Kai Gorodov, but they haven't really grown, have they? I know Kai, we're playing Kai Gorodov above his role. Yeah. Tough loss there. Uh-oh. Juleson out with a minor concussion. Is Benoit. He can come back. We could. Could we? I'm going to risk it. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, he's gotten injured a couple times, but, you know. <laughs> We're going to risk it. Watch him get re-injured. Nah, he's got some time to rest. Yeah, see. He's fine. Juleson's now back, too, so... We're all good. Rathbone's got plenty of time playing. Bluger, on the other hand, is not. <laughs> Don't lose now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! There we go. Turn it around. There we are. Oscar Clefbaum now out. Mild concussion. So, speak of the devil now. Bluger gets to hop in. But we'll be nice. And we'll give Hoaglander the extra time. Uh, what? Oh. Stupid. What? Oh, this must be four-man power play, right? Hold on. There better not be fucking penalty kill. No, okay, good. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Get in there, son. And not the greatest month here, but we do have some interesting injuries. Cleft bomb, get back in there. Ugh. Come on, guys. We got the 40 wins. Let's go. There we go. Okay. 42, 16, and 5. I like how I'm like, ew, we're losing games. But we're, <laughs> we hit 40-plus wins in sub-20 reg losses at the deadline. That's the goal for an elite team. Pedersen, nice. Nice, Pedersen. Uber nice. Except, hey, how about you want a fucking extension, little bitch? I'm not going to stop insulting you until you want it. Ooh, goals, goals against went way up. But, I mean, that was unsustainable before. <laughs> That's a big way to go up, though. I don't like that, because that could mean Demko's just trending in the complete wrong direction. It may continue. 3-5-9-2-5-2, two, though. Great. Power play keeps going up. 17.6. Penalty kill's gone down. 
So all of our defense essentially went down. It's, the game tightens up, but we got a young team. It's bound to happen. Offense. Top offense. Defense. Not the top defense. It could have been. But we're top three. We're third best defense. Power play. Yeah, middle of the pack. Penalty kill. Top ten. Just outside the top five. It did decline a bit. Do I have seven shorties for? Not bad. I mean, we're, we're still up there, and we're only we're only getting better. That's the thing. We are only getting better still. So, Pedersen, 69 points. Stamco, 68. 60 for Everly. I'd say he's probably going to get some major stat growth. But, like, then what the hell do we trade him for? We're kind of also done with that stage. Oh, well. Uh, Marlowe has 50 points. Steep-ass drop-off, man. Marlowe, 50. Horvat, 43. Clefbaum, 41. Hogan under 34. Gauthier. Okay, Gauthier stopped. Yeah, he's... Without the power play production, he dropped off quite a bit. And there's Tabernacolo, Pakols, and Arnott, Kozilov. 84. Still 82. 83. I mean, Tabernacolo... I mean, they're all, they're all growing, so fuck it. Hughes, not gonna be going after any hardware, but he's having still a good season. Yeah, numbers have dropped off quite a bit, especially for Demko. Lankinen's fucking crushing it. <laughs> He's continuing to dominate. Like, absolutely dominate. Pretty wild what he's able to do. Yeah, Demko's numbers have fallen off. Hopefully he can bounce back, but Lankinen is an insane backup. Yeah, I don't care if he's listed as a minor starter, dude. Why the hell is he listed as a minor starter? That's my question. Marlowe has a chance to go for the Calder, man. He might actually do it. You may actually do it. We only got 19 games left. He could hit 60 points. Should hit 60 points. That's like essentially the pace he's on. It's good spread out scoring, again, for the most part. Power play could be better. Not, not going to lie, but... We still got pretty good spread out scoring. Gaucher could use a hell of a lot more. I know he doesn't. The thing is, he doesn't have power play time. Like we're we, we're throwing it to like these young guys who are on the third and fourth line. It's just because you know Gauthier grew. Like we're trying. Yeah, we're just trying to boost everyone up. It's tough, but we're doing our best here. Maybe I should have Gauthier on the penalty kill. Although I put who did I put on there? Yeah, Hoagland. I put put Colson on there for the extra ice time. Although he's listed as third line, maybe he doesn't necessarily need it. Maybe I should have Gaucher on the PK. Could try that. Just a small little change. Playing with Pedersen. Sure. We'll go with that. Why not? Okay, so... We can always improve upon Dermot as well. Like with the trade, and if we're thinking of that. If we get a shit ton of like trade value for Eberly. And if we... But at the same time, man, it's working. You saw the, I'll, I'll show you the plus minuses again. It's absolutely, I could have just gone to the lines, but it's, it's working, dude. Like Dermot and Benoit together, it's working. Hughes, Kygordov, it's working. Kygordov, are you fighting a shit ton? No, he just actually actually does take some penalties. <laughs> 86 discipline. Ah, uh, who knows, man. Who knows? Benoit, definitely. We might adjust his fighting a little bit. Although, he might not be fighting either. No, he has three fights. That's a, that's fine. He could fight three times. I don't care. So, you subtract 15 from this. Yeah, that's fine. 24 and 54. Yeah. Let's check out our progress reports again. Stamkos is declining, and he's now down to top six. <laughs> we got him two-year deal, but he, he should, he'll be continue to be boosted up by the stack row, so it won't really come back to bite us. Everly's in, in fine shape. Kosolov has grown quite a bit. Great for us. He's a high elite. That's obviously amazing. Clefbaum is... Yeah, he's even grown a bit on top of stack row, so that's really good for Clefbaum. Looking at Pedersen, probably nothing. Tabernacolo's grown a bit more. Looking good. Ooh. What was that that's grown? Oh, your aggressiveness. What the hell? 
Defensively, he's gone better. Shot's still the same, but his offensive awareness went up. All of his puck skills went up. Pretty good. Arnett hasn't grown much more, but he's still growing. And again, he's only 18, so don't freak about that. Benoit. Okay, Benoit's growing, but it's all his puck skills, which is... Yeah, Kai Gordov hasn't grown, which is a bit worrying. I do have him up in a higher role, but... And again, he may not get better than like 85-ish. I hope he does. Give him a little jump. I, like, I'd love him to have him at like 86, 87. But 85 is not awful. It's just I got him to a contract hoping he'd grow a little bit more. We'll see. But again, he and... Uh, and what's his name? He, he and Dermot are doing just fine together, really. So, If it ain't fixed... or <laughs> If it ain't fixed, why have I been doing that? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. And a bunch of growth, Vatnin, Johnson, Stoke. Yeah, not a whole lot from these guys, but... Hey, Wu's actually grown! <laughs> Holy shit. Jet Wu grew. Unreal. Okay, well... Things are going real well for us here. I can actually... Oh, yeah, I forgot. He doesn't want... Oh, he wants an extension now! Why? Why does he want a stupid amount of money, man? Fuck. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can get him, like, short-term, line him up with Hughes. But also, I'm trying... It's because he's entering his prime. Like, yeah. He's in... Yeah, it's tough, 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 tough. <sighs> I, I'm not... I'm Like, I'd love to get him long-term, but that's not not doing that. Like, even this is fucking ridiculous, dude. Two years of line with, like, not to what, like, what, what, not to mention what Hughes is gonna want, possibly. We're gonna really have to get some team friendly ass deals. Ugh, Patterson. Why are you so difficult? Ugh. I understand he's he's crushing it like he's freaking getting so many points and stuff. But like, come on, man! Look what he wants for eight years. That's just stupid. <laughs> that's just so stupid. He's like trying his best to get the hell from out of the uh, RFA. Dude, that's all he's doing. Hey, we can actually extend Juleson now. I'm gonna do it. Three years is fine for him. Uh, I really, obviously, I like that pairing down there. Yep, 215. Solid. Three years at 215, absolutely. Rathbone. If he wants, you know what, yeah. I'm going to max out a two-way for him for three years as a depth guy. That'd be great. We'll see if he does it. He should. He might. I'm going to get Lincoln in back before he goes to free agency and ruins things. Really? Sure? I mean, I'll take it. That's kind of nuts. All right. And do we even do any? I don't even know if we do anything at the trade deadline. <laughs> I don't think we make any major changes. We're absolutely crushing it. The lines are working. Like, a lot. Yeah, their list is like third line and shit now besides Arnett. I'm not really going to move them up. They got the power play time. They should be getting enough ice time to keep them happy. Okay, he's actually losing now because of ice time. What the fuck? I know it's only second unit, but still. Come on, dude. I can't I can't put him up. I can't. Like, not. I can maybe me move up Kozilov, but that's it. But, but Colson's doing pretty good. Maybe I move up Kosolov because he's way more important as a high elite to keep happy. And it gives us chemistry. So he'll play with Hoagland or Horvat now. Put Colson will go down to the fourth. Sorry, buddy. You're now off the... <laughs> you're even off the uh, the penalty kill now, too. So you're really getting relegated. It's not like he did anything wrong, either. He's been he's been fine, dude. Like, he's got 27 points. Maybe even hit 20 goals, but it won't at this point. We did lock him into a stupidly awesome deal, so... Who cares? Dobber Nicole, on the other hand, it's a bit tougher, but whatever. Is he is he losing it to ice time? Oh, yeah, he was. He was the one I checked. What if Kosolov wasn't? 
No, he's absolutely is. So yeah, we got to get him up there. Ugh, I don't want to do. I'm not going to do that to Horvat. He's doing way too good. Yeah, he's. I gotta leave him there, or else he's gonna complain too much. He hasn't been, so that's good. We're playing him. Hoaglander probably is though. No, just Indovich performance. Okay. Well, Tabernacolo, sorry. It is what it is, though. Not much more I can do, so that's where we're at. It's a great season. The experiment has worked. The signings have absolutely worked. And we are on track to make the playoffs. And I don't know. Hopefully, maybe make another deep run. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.